outside a grocery store in Hackensack, we found plenty of people who understand why this is such a close race for governor. It was challenging. I really had to um, examine the issues and, um, you know, think it through. I think it has a lot to do with the pandemic. I think a lot of us um, we're really happy with what happened, but I think a lot of businesses were affected negatively, and I think that because a lot of Republicans are rolling back those mandates and things like that, I feel like people are assimilating with that. Bergen County is often considered a bellwether in New Jersey politics. Governor Murphy won here by around 15 points four years ago. This time around, he's up by just four points. But he's feeling reasonably confident because the votes still being counted are mail-in ballots. This scene we saw inside the Bergen County counting room is playing out across the state right now. Ballots postmarked or put in drop boxes by election day are still trickling in, being sorted and counted. We are safe with these ballots. Uh, we always make sure we pair people up, a Republican and a Democrat. So it's done equally. But despite those assurances, President Trump has sown so much distrust among Republican voters, few vote by mail these days. So this late arriving vote overwhelmingly favors Democrats, in this case, Governor Murphy. It's just one reason why he was cautiously optimistic addressing supporters last night. When every vote is counted and every vote will be counted, we hope to have a celebration.